we're gonna check out some makeup ideas so first up this woman is showing you how to do a lip look so it looks like she's doing the oversized technique in order to make your lips appear larger this is a gorgeous lip color nice little nude shade looks like it would be universal to work on many different skin tones So I have no idea what she's doing. I think she's doing a hair remover technique for her upper lip. I've never seen this tool before. If you guys know what this is, comment below because I've never seen that before. But her eyeshadow is really pretty. And she does, of course, add some illuminator to her nose and cheeks as well. Gorgeous overall makeup look. And looks like she kind of set it with some body shimmer. So pretty. So next we have an Ariana Grande makeup inspired look. Love how thick her eyebrows are and her lashes. She looks so pretty without makeup, so I can't wait to see how she looks transformed. So she did kind of like a nude color eyeshadow and cut the crease with that. I think that's really pretty. I've never seen a nude cut crease before. And the lipstick color is gorgeous. And of course she did her hair like Ariana as well. But Ariana Grande, have you guys been seeing her lately? She has really switched up her look. She does not look like the same Ariana that we are used to. So this next makeup look is going to be a focus on the lips. Looks like she is also doing the plump lip trim. Then we get into another lip look. This one features a gorgeous pinky tone. ColourPop is one of my favorite go-to lip brands, as well as NYX. I love them as well. This makeup look, I think it's a little too much going on here for me. She really accented her cheeks with this blush and then the eyes. She just had too much going on. Oh, so she is doing a nice black lip look. Gorgeous. I love a nice black lip, especially if it's not Halloween, just any day of the week. You just want to rock black. I love that trend. Now this girl to me looks like Kylie Jenner. Love her winged eyeliner, soft new lip. And then she's doing a little bit more of an intense lip look. So she did a darker liner. Very pretty. She kind of created like a natural ombre effect with the look she created. And then next up we have this gorgeous purple eyeshadow look. So I think she's doing a purple lip with this as well. Love the eyeshadow. Not sure I would do as deep of a purple with this. I feel like the purple should be a statement on its own and she probably should have did like a nude eye look with this just to make the lipstick pop more. But it doesn't look bad. Oh wow. So she has purple braids, purple shirt. Actually, I'm feeling this. Now that I see it all together, that was definitely a vibe. So next up, we got red lips. 
Red is always a classic color. Fenty has the best red lipstick that I've managed to find. I think it's because Rihanna used to have the whole Mac and Ruby Woo color back in the days. Comment if you guys remember that when she collabed with um, Mac. Ooh, this is a really pretty nice nude color that Huda has. I might have to check that brand out. I don't think I own anything from that Huda brand. But that's a really nice nude lip. Ooh, I like her nails too. So next up we have a gorgeous fuchsia color from Fenty. This is a really pretty shade, very versatile as well. And then she did add some shimmer with that. Gorgeous. Then we got another kind of fuchsia lip. Super Stay. I hate this brand of lipstick. It always like patches up on my lips. I don't like it. It does not stay on for me, but it looks pretty on her. Gucci lipstick, hey. Why well, I feel like this is gonna be red. Oh, it's a nice nude. That's a really nice nude color. Definitely looks like a nice neutral shade that would work for many complexions. Very pretty color. Then we got Kylie Jenner. And this is gonna be a nice kind of muted pinky color. Well, not even really muted, but just like, I don't know what you would call this shade. Like a soft, not peach. Oh, so she's gonna do an ombre lip with this. Oh, that is so pretty. I had no idea that there was an entire makeup collection dedicated to giving you ombre affected lips. That's dope. That color is pretty by itself too. But you can do this with anything creating the ombre effect. You just need a lighter color in the center of your lip and bam, you've created an ombre style lip. All right, you guys, so that is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed checking out these makeup looks with me. If you did, be sure to give this video a like. Remember to comment, rate, and subscribe which look was your favorite, and I will see you in the next one.